Here is Danny and today I thought let's take a look at the most upvoted posts for every Battlefield game to get a glimpse at the communities of that time. With Battlefield 5 players seemingly being mostly angry about cosmetics, the time to kill change and some other things. So we can see what the big issues were or if the community was just memeing around and having fun. Let's start off with Battlefield 3. The most upvoted one in Battlefield 3, asking DICE for a test range in Battlefield 4, which we actually got. The second post is one of my favorite x ho, -Ho clips from back in the day. Then we got another epic clip. On number 4 we got a picture by me of where I got banned for saying assault in a chat. S being the words that kick me. Then there is two funny clips. Followed by another suggestion that eventually got added in Battlefield 4. Number 8 is a mock-up for a fake loading screen. Then there is two memes, one of which is about the Famaster awful iron sights. And after that there is a relatable comic. So it seems like the community was mostly happy during the time and was memeing around, which is good to see. Battlefield 4 on the other hand was not so popular, especially at the start. And that does kinda reflect in the most upvoted posts. However, we start off with a funny clip. With the title When the Server Rules Say No C4 Jeeps. Then there is a clip where someone caught a pretty cool and round screen with the Suaf. And then there is the classic post about how we the community actually deserves compensation for the awful state of the game. Then there is another meme and there is a gif explaining the netcode because back then it was pretty shit. Then we got a certified funny meme posted by me about how the next battlefield will have guns and explosions. After that there is a trailer for Battlefield 1. And then there is another meme about kicking Patrick Buck from the server with the reason fix the game, which is both funny and a complaint. After that there is another epic clip. And at the end of it all, there is a screenshot by Birdo. Scrolling down a little bit more gives us a picture of Battlefield 4 crashing so hard that the crasher has crashed, which is also objectively funny. For Battlefield 1 we have a funny meme about the Geneva Convention. Then there is a funny clip about a guy avoiding a lot of enemies. Followed by some epic art made by a Redditor's husband. Then there is another only in Battlefield moment straight out of a trailer. Then there is a meme about sidecutters in planes. A behemoth flipping out is after that. Then there is a cool end of round screen with all the Power Rangers. I wish I still had that, damn it. After that there is an epic clip of a player clearing the enemy bunker on Monte Grappa. And as last there is a funny meme once again. There is also a picture of cats. But yeah, Battlefield 1's top posts all seemed pretty positive. But for Battlefield 5 on the other hand. We have a picture that shows nobody cares if you leave a franchise. Because many people made long posts that nobody read saying stuff like I'm a Battlefield veteran since Battlefield 4 blah de blah de blah and now I'm leaving because of the patch. And honestly, truly, nobody cares if you do. That one is posted 17 days ago. Then we got a scene from the Pirates of the Caribbean about the state of Battlefield 5 and the anger of the community. After that we got a post by Dan Mitra on how the time to kill is being reverted for the first time. Ah, good times, I miss Dan though. The Pacific trailer is after that. Then we got a meme about how Battlefield 5 has barely any content. And a very nice meme about how pilots can't go 100 and 0 anymore after the Fliegerfaust got added. Which sadly got nerfed already. Then we got a post with a ton of upvotes and reddit codes about leaving the game. Which sparked a lot of similar posts which on their end sparked the top post. 
After that we got a meme once again about the state of the game, which in my opinion is far better made than the second post video on the sub. With better motion tracking and it is obviously far more relevant to the game because it is the trailer. Which is pretty damn brilliant if you ask me. Not that anybody asked me but still. And then we got a year old video once again talking about the state of the game. And as last there is a video about the state of the game once again. And dies trying the time to kill changes for the first time. And as last there is a video once again about the state of the game posted 5 months ago of bugs plaguing the community. Also I'm in it thus it is the best thing ever made for obvious reasons. As a bonus there is a picture on spot 20 about how DICE delays a lot of stuff. Pretty funny. On the generic Battlefoot sub we also got a lot of fun stuff. It is also the oldest sub of the bunch. First we start off with the community doubting how EA would monetize the game if there are no loot boxes or season passes. We now know it is with points and packaged disappointment. Then there is a meme about medics being shit, nothing really changed. And how DICE has fucked up the reveal of Battlefield 5. Then once again we got the Battlefield 1 trailer. After that there is a post about how Level Cap tries to ruin Battlefield by asking for a revive nerf. Then there is a really weird bug in Battlefield 1 which I have never seen before. And a craft about the fun going down when there is more snipers in the server, which is true for every game. Then there is another complaint about the Battlefield 5 trailer, followed by a sarcastic meme about how he's a pro gamer because he has a positive KD. Then there is a more relatable meme, after that there is a meme about Behemoths. And then we got the same clip once again about the blimp flipping out. And another clip about a player jumping off the blimp and then getting saved last minute by a plane. There is a lot of blimps. Then there is a picture of the ultimate headshot. And a player having a conversation with the tank. So yeah, that sums up the community across multiple games. People apparently really like behemoths apparently. Of course more people have joined Battlefield over time, with as a result that the Battlefield 1's most upvoted item got far more upvotes than any other Battlefield game for example. Battlefield 1's most popular post having almost 25,000 and Battlefield 5's only 16,000. Battlefield 4's most popular post only having 5,500. And Battlefield 3, less than 3000. So yeah, make of that what you want. But hey, that is all I got for now. This was Danny and I see you on the Battlefield.